Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there and waiting for us. We're having a few technical difficulties here, as we said. And uh, Joni, you know all about what happens with that, right? Bernie, just go ahead and keep trying to get back in there while we're continuing or starting this part. So obviously, I'm Patty Ann, and we have some new Digi stamps to show you today. They are from, let me put this banner up here for you. They're from digidoodlestudios.com so if you want to get the same stamps that we're using you can just jog over the run over there and get them um they're really super cute and all the chicks were happy to use this one this time because they thought it was really fun and cute so for those of you who are new well before i do that i want to remind you i got a little bit of a sneak peek at what linda's going to do today and she's going to use or make a card that's sort of like a crossbar card and she doesn't have time to run through the whole thing here during our live so I've made another video that's going to show you exactly how to go from the start to finish beginning to end of how to make this crossbar card uh, I'll make it in silhouette but of course as you know you can use it for your Cricut machines as well and that'll be at 7 p.m. on YouTube here live tonight so let's see let me get rid of that and let's begin by introducing ourselves and on my screen linda you're at the top oh. hello my name is uh, linda zumbrun and i'm from maryland and uh, i hope you all enjoy the cards we're planning on making today cool fun to be here <laughs> okay, oh, step i'm sorry uh, no please <laughs> my friend my Kathy, Kathy is um, going to be a uh, digi chick as well, and she is from the town Maryland. So oh, sweet, cool beans! Yes, yeah, so way back when. <laughs> wow, that's fab fabulous. Okay, Stephanie. Hi, I'm Stephanie, and I'm from England in the United Kingdom. Um, I've been making cards now for about 15 years, which started off as a hobby, but I'm afraid it's an addiction now. <laughs> but I love it anyway. My card today is aimed really at newbies. It's what? It's, it's aimed at newbies. Who oh, want sweet. To get into making cards? Uh, come back to the basic. Oh, okay, great. So if y'all didn't hear, she said it's aimed at newbies. So if you're brand new at making cards, uh, stay tuned for that. Let's see. We'll go on to Beth and Bernie. We'll come to you last since you're still having an issue with her phone. Uh, Beth? Hello, I'm Beth. I'm from Alabama. And um, I really enjoyed these digi-diddles. Animals are all, I love animals. So that was, it was really neat. Oh, cool. All right, now I don't hear an echo. Do you guys hear an echo? Dora just said, why is there an echo? It was yeah. an echo to start with, but I think it's gone now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, Beth. A, uh, the other Beth, a Beth who's chatting. She said, a bonus live. Yes, indeedy, a bonus live tonight. Okay, Bernie, can you introduce yourself? But your mic's off. There you go. You got it. Um, I'm Bernie. I'm in Melbourne, and I think it's me that's causing all the problems with the echo every time my phone comes in. So maybe I'll just do mine and hold mine up here rather than, and then we'll work it out for next time. Okay, that's great. And tell them again where you're from. In Melbourne, in Victoria, Australia. Okay, and tell them what time it is there. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Holy mo! And she's got to get ready to go to work pretty soon, right? <laughs> so anyway, all right, let's look. Janet says, let's just look at a few of these comments. Whoopsie, where did it go? Janet says, that's me. I'm brand new at car make, card making. Thanks, Stephanie. And Kathleen says she still hears the echo. And Joni says, where do you... Joni, what's that say? Where do you... Hey, Patty Ann. Not sure what Joni typed there, really. But anyway, we will get started now, and uh, uh, we can all get rid of our regular pictures, except for Bernie, because she'll stay there since she's going to show hers that way. So the rest of us can all hide our cameras now, and I'm going to hide my camera. Okay, so hopefully y'all can still hear, and we're ready to get busy. Oh, hey, and by the way, I think y'all saw this. Hang on one sec. This is obviously, I think you saw, these are the animal little critters. 
that they're going to be using today and it's from digi doodle studio so these are the little guys i'll use and you may have seen that i had done a video with these guys earlier with this little monkey dude and i actually gave him some earrings this week too <laughs> but anyway okay let's see how do i get rid of that hmm uh oh stop your share no, that's not where it's shared from. Hold on, you guys. Be right back. Settings. There we go. Nope. Sorry. OMG. How do I get rid of that now? Hold on. Sorry, you guys. Talk about technical difficulties. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, there. Woo so, Tammy, and just in case you want to know, I had to go under brand and then under overlay, and that got rid of it. Okay, so let's see. Who wants to talk and tell us what they're working on? I will do, if you like, before I actually start. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you just on a piece of copy paper which whenever I used to do any designs when I first started, I always used to use copy paper rather than waste it. And an ordinary card, if it was just a basic card, would be folded in half, and that would be it. Mm -hmm. And this card is very, very similar. So there's only one more fold in it, and I'm showing you just on copy paper so you can see. You would fold the card in half, the front piece, you would just fall back on itself. So in actual fact, if you had a scoreboard, but if you hadn't, it wouldn't matter. If you had a scoreboard, you would score it as a quarter of the uh, length of the card and at half. And then you would end up with that like that. But to make it extra special, you would work out roughly what, um, what depth you wanted your card to be and then cut off. Now I would use obviously um, a paper trimmer or a guillotine, but if you hadn't, I need a ruler, you could line it up, you could cut it off with scissors. So I'm just going to show you, and then when I make the card. So this is a basic card, so that would be the card base. But to make it extra special, which is no work hardly at all, the piece that you've got left, you would flip the other way around, and when you finish, you would glue it on like that. Oh, wow. So it's a really easy card to do, but when you actually decorate it, then it does make a nice card. And all you've done is literally fold it in half, fold it back on itself, cut the bottom off, and then you, you glue that at this side and then there. So you're not using lots of, um, I mean, lots of people that are just starting card making haven't got lots of things. And they're just beginning out. So with you doing the videos on using the basic um, Silhouette Basic software is brilliant because it can do that. Um, and if you fussy cut, it's not really costing them a lot. If they're just dipping the toe in the water. Cool. Very nice. Okay. So I'm still hearing that there is, some people are still saying that there is an echo. Hmm. Do you guys hear that echo? Yeah, there's still an echo. Hmm. I can't, I'm not really sure where the echo is coming from. I think it's only when Stephanie talks, it's it's like uh, in a drum, like. Hmm. I can hear, yeah, I can, just when you were speaking, then Tommy I can hear it, so maybe it is mine. Hmm. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, Bernie, we can't see what you're working on, so why don't you tell yeah. us what you're up to? <laughs> sure. I started with a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, and I scored at 3 inch and 9 inch on all sides, and then I ended up with so at the 3 and the 9, and then at the 6, you just mark a 6 and a 6, and then cut diagonally from the, where the 3 and 9 would be down and across and then you end up with a piece of card that looks like this oh, cool. and okay. then it becomes a, 
escape fold card in the end. So it's just one piece of paper, cut and then folded and then cut. So you're cutting the corners off. Okay. Oh, Bernie too. So they're saying who all of us is echoing. <laughs> So yeah, they say we're all... I don't even have my phone on now, so it's definitely not my phone. Right. No, I don't have a phone on either, so. No, I don't either. I only have on one thing. Let me I take, let me double check one thing here. Let's see. Hmm, might be me. And my um, Gigi Doodles, I used um, Silhouette to colour them. So I've got, I've printed all mine. So mine's all been print and cut. And there's my giraffe. Oh, he's so cute. So I did the background in, um, I did a blue background uh, rectangle and then coloured the giraffe and put the giraffe on top of the blue square and then print and cut. Kathleen wants to know, Bernie, what size was your original paper? No, Dora does. Huh? Yeah. 12 by 12. Okay. Just a little piece of cardstock. And it will end up as a 6 by 6 inch um, folded card when I'm done. So it will end up like that. Oh, okay. Cool. And I'm just attaching foil bits to each of the pieces okay. Linda okay so one what you yeah what you working on um, I'm working on the box card so I have the center cut out I just use the die cut um, the you know the we start out with the basic uh, eight and a half with a, by eleven inch piece of uh, card stock, and it's pretty pretty. Uh, I don't know the weight of this one exactly, but anyway, I used a I used a die for the center, so I did my uh, rectangle, and I also um, used the um, what's inside the die for sentiments. It's really handy, and. Um, uh, every time I use my washi tape, I use, I put a little, because washi tape is so thin, I use washi tape to hold the die in place, but I always make a little courtesy tab so that the next time I can just pull off. Um, then I'm just uh, going to, uh, at this point, I'm going to uh, continue with a background. Um, I love this pattern. I'm going to put a forest background inside the card before I go in any further. And where's my tape? Use the glider tape. I found this uh, background, I believe it was Creative Fabrica. Cutting these off. So, there is Oh, that's your, cute. There's the, there's the jungle. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Yeah, before I go on, I'm going to put the uh, borders that I have for this. I found a real cute little um, bamboo kind of a jungle look for a border. I've already, to save time, I've already embossed this. So if you can see that in the light. Okay. And then I also have a, the bottom will have a, a strip of grass. So I'm going to do that next. <laughs> Okay. All right, so we need to go see what Beth is up to. So let me stop this one and go to Beth and make her the solo person. Okay, there we go. All right, so Beth, can you tell us what you've been up to? Yes. 
I've just been coloring my two little, some of my characters here, but I am making a card. I don't really know the name, but it's, you fold the paper and, and it makes it like, kind of like a pop out thing. So I was just going to show real quick while we're here, what, what you do, but I cut it first. It's eight and a half by eight and a half square. So I just made a square, eight and a half by eight and a half. Then you fold it in half lengthwise. And I got my, I'm going to score it along there. Then you would unfold that and then fold it in half the other lengthwise. And I'm going to score that. Then you're going to go backwards and fold one, one time in a triangle. And then I'm going to score that. Then what you'll have is your card is like a little like a square and then mm -hmm. when you open it up it'll be oh, different that's cool. and I'll put different things up on the top and the bottom I'm going to put pieces but that's how you that's the base of the card okay so again what you did was you have an eight and a half by eight and a half inch square yes folded it in half and uh -huh. then in half the opposite way correct and then from diagonal to diagonal Exactly. Just once or from both just, diagonals? Just once. The diagonal okay. is just one time. Okay, gotcha. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. All righty. Then I'm going to, then I cut uh, four inch squares to uh, put on the front and back and in the middle. So the name of this stamp from Digi Doodle Studios, I think, is Jungle Something. And so that's why y'all went to Creative Fabrica or wherever and found some jungle excuse me, looking pictures to go with, I guess. Yes. Is that right? Yes, I did too. Okay, if anybody wants me to spotlight them because you want to show something you're doing, let me know. Yeah, you can put me back on. All right, we're ready. What I did was with my card, then I cut for all of the folds, I've got silver paper on all of them. Uh -huh. So the card part is that center part six inches, so that um, foil part is now five point three inches square, and these are five and three quarters or two and three quarters. So I'm just covering all the white with foil, and then I've done the same on the back. And I've got to put one here, so I've just got foil. It's just metallic paper. Uh huh. But then I've got for the back one, I've actually got a little card because I'm going to do something with that at the end oh, to show you at the end. So that's just full silver, but that one's actually card. Okay, cool. So before we got on, we were talking about who has COVID and who doesn't. I don't know if you guys follow us, but Tammy's whole family, everybody in her family got it except for Tammy. And I'm so thrilled that she didn't get it because, boy, oh, boy, we were worried for a while there. But her husband got it, her son-in-law, her son, her daughter. And the little boys didn't get it, but they had colds and whatnot. So we're just really glad that Tammy did not get sick. Yes. And Stephanie's got some people in her family that have had it, have it too, but they're not really, really sick. So we're all... Yes, my, Brain, my keeping our finger. Pardon me? Yeah. My second son and his wife have got it. They're still a bit poorly, but nothing really rusty. Okay. Because your first son already, or your other son already had it, right? Yeah, his, his partner and they both got it, but he was really quite poorly. Um, mm -hmm. Where my youngest son's um, done a lot better. Wow. Hmm. Well, knock on wood, I have not had anything. I thought for a little bit there, maybe y'all know I was feeling under the weather, and that's why we didn't do our Patreon class last week, 
because I thought, oh, no, I know I'm getting it because I had a little bit of a fever and stuff, but it went away. So thank God I didn't have it. So, hot Bernie, is it just like you I have a lot of that jazz going on down there in Australia, too? Um, yeah, we had Melbourne had lockdown. We were in lockdown for four months, 112 days. We were in stage four lockdown. Um, I've only gone back to work a few weeks before Christmas. But other than that, I was working from home. Um, wow. And now Brisbane have gone into a three day lockdown. Parts of Sydney are in lockdown. And now they've had a summit on Thursday, I think, the leaders of the, all the different states. And now they'll be doing testing before anyone comes into Australia. So that's wow. something new. Right. We haven't had that before where they've done testing. So you girls are all working on cards. Is that your favorite thing to work on for crafts? Or do you like doing vinyl or sublimation? Or what is it that everybody enjoys mostly? I'm a bit all over the shop. Pardon me? I'm a bit all over the shop. Oh, <laughs> okay. I went through a phase of doing 3D models of like oh, wow. houses and pots of flowers and cards and things. So now I'm into cards. Oh, great. Okay. Well, we're glad you are. So you're a chick. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. How about you, Linda? Um, I like, well, this, this past week, I've really enjoyed um, cooking because I've made some um, beef stew a few times and, <laughs> and I've had the grandkids over quite a bit. Okay. That's been cooking, but I, I love, I love this craft. It's so much fun. The paper crafts and and you know, as I mentioned, my granddaughters have been real interested in learning how to sew. So that's been also on the list of um, things to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I see that Nidra says she has a grandson and granddaughter who had the COVID, but thank the Lord they're doing well now. And Anita says that, oh, wait, that's Tammy. Oh, glad to hear that, Nidra. I was clicking on this one. Anita says the she likes to do cards and mini albums. And she's also, I saw she was from California, so welcome. And we also have an East Texas lady. So, all right. Okay, and Beth, what's your favorite thing to do? I know you and your friend do a lot of crafts. We do. We do a lot of different things right now. One of our big things has been making the memory bears out of uh, people's clothes that have passed away or different things like that. Oh, so we've, we've done a lot of those. So y'all must be pretty good seamstresses if you can take the clothes and... Well, uh, my friend is the better and I'm just learning from her a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but we do, I, I really enjoy doing that. Say one, maybe one day you could bring one to show here. We'll just let us see what yeah, you yeah, what work yeah. on. I'd love to see it. Yeah, we we enjoy that. That's nice. And she lives right down the street from you, right? Well, uh, about fifteen minutes away. Not far at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not like as far away as we all are. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Stephanie, I'll have to guess that your favorite thing is card making because you're the card making queen. No, I do, I do love making cards. You do love making cards, yes. Yeah. So what are you doing right now, Stephanie? Um, made a bit of a blonde. I didn't just get it on level, so I'm actually coloring the bit of green in so you won't see the brown when I fill it all in. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, it will be covered up with this border, but I thought I'd just um, fill it in anyway. Wow. I, um, I was making this card. I, I embossed quite a bit uh, ahead of time. I embossed um, a lot of the animals, and I used the gradient in our, our Silhouette Business Edition to um, kind of shade the trees, the, 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 palm, the palm tree. Um, but anyway, I had a lot of fun with this card. It was really fun. Yeah. And that's the one I'm going to be showing tonight on that live that starts at 7 p.m. How to actually make the base for that card. My card is not going to turn out near as pretty as Linda's. She just knows how to jazz them up and make them just look nice. Mine are more uh, bare bones. But I like seeing what you do. It's beautiful. I love that little scene in the back. You find perfect pictures to go with yours. It's really cute. 
You know what? Near where I stand, I thought, and I don't know where if I got this uh, font from the font or uh -huh. created that brick. But look at this font. It's if you can see it. It's I don't know if you. Can there we go. We see it. I think it's I have called, that one. Oh, I what's love it. it. It's, what's it called? Font Retro Diner. Oh no, and that's not what mine's called. It's just so cute. That is adorable. Oh. Yeah, I love it. So you just put it on a box and then just cut around the box with your silhouette or whatever machine you have. I, for this one I did, and then uh -huh. for this one I, uh, I actually, actually um, you know, added some, some uh, embellishments around, yes. around this and brought some parts. Can you see right. the fans? Oh, yeah, yes. It's nice. They're all see involved. That? Oh, and that was that embossing stuff you told us about last time, right? Here it is. It's right here. It's yeah, called well, Pow. So it's, it's embossing a, powder. It's embossing powder. It's called Clear Gloss Super Fine. And gosh, it must be like four or five ounces. It's quite, there's quite a lot. It doesn't, it doesn't say how many ounces on this uh, container. Let me see. Anyway, it's a lot. <laughs> but Linda, well, how do you moisten up whatever you're putting it on? I mean, how did it stick to that? Well, this time I used a uh, VersaFine. Um, excuse me, I used VersaMark. So you just smear that on it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I, I stamp the VersaMark. I use a, um, like, like if I wanted to emboss this uh, vine, I would just... Uh -huh. I'm going to do it with my finger because just for, you know, the purposes now. Anyway, but coat this, and then I would use an embossing pen. See, it's, it's not shiny. I would use the embossing powder, and I've got a, I wish you'd try to use a card or an envelope. Put the um, item on the card, and I'm very generous with this embossing powder because it just can be. <laughs> right. And it, and, and it goes right back into the container. And then I take my reverse tweezers. Yes. Tap off that. Put this extra back in the jar. And then I have my, my handy embossing tool always ready. <laughs> right. So you just really like the sheen that that gives it, the nice. I do. I do. It's, um, yeah. It doesn't take very long. How many of you out there have an embossing gun? I have one. I do. I, I need to get uh, some of that wow stuff, though, because I really like how that looks, too. Yes, I, I use the wow fighter. You get lots of different colors as well. Who said that? Stephanie? Stephanie, yeah. Yeah, you can see the sheen. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, Beth, you've been busy, girl. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, let's hold. My goodness. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> fun. So I just oh. cut out the, the squares go in here and then cut these in, cut these squares and then just cut them in half. Uh -huh. And then I glued my monkeys. You just have to be careful where you glue these that it'll fold. You know, you have to check your fold to make sure he folds up that, that way, but. Mm. And then I just colored my things and made all my scenes. Yes. Someone had asked, the, and I saw Tammy put it up there for them. Uh, I can't let exit that. Um, where we got the stamps this time, and it's from Digi Doodle Studios. And I saw that Tammy threw that little banner across there too so that you could see it. Let's see. Here it is. It's from DigiDoodleStudios.com. It's called. Jungle something or other. I don't remember exactly what it's called. If anybody else has a better memory than me, let me know. Um, but anyway, so that's where that came from. And then we had a few people that have said a few things. Let's see. Some of these other people have used the embossing one also. Let's see. Texas Lady says, I have one, but I haven't used it yet for embossing. And Anita says she has one. And Joni... Is that the brand name? The Crafter's Companion one. Crafter's Companion. Yeah, okay. And what's this one say? I use embossing powders for all sorts of stuff. 
Oh, Anita, we'd love to hear what else you can use it for. And Janet says it's called It's a Jungle Out There. I should have remembered that. I don't know if anybody's ever watched the show Monk, but that's part of his theme song. It's a jungle out there. So anyway, all right. And a good, good tip for using embossing powder as well. Heat it from the back. Oh. Rather than the front, if you heat it from the back, it doesn't blow all over the place. Oh, that's a good tip. Kattyanne, if you want to show my screen. So I'd be glad to. Hang on one sec till I get there. Okay. So like I said, I coloured all of the um, animals in on silhouette and then I made my own paper. Oh, so wow. I made, so, I put it, so then I shrunk them, um, made them bigger, made them smaller, put all the different words in that I could on my paper and then printed my own paper to cut. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I've not done that. <laughs> That's so really neat. What I was going to ask is, I'm not. Um, I'm a new user to silhouette. Uh -huh. I, for the life of me, I couldn't get the elephant ear to join up. So I was going to ask you if you could have a look and see how to join the elephant's ear up to colour. On, I couldn't uh, get it to join up. Oh, sure, I'd be glad to do that. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. So I don't have the elephant. Okay. I'll look at that right now to see if it's something I could do. <laughs> the left hand is the elephant. I've it. done it. Yeah, um, you can use that same technique you've been using to fill the line. Yeah. Okay. I'm using quilter clips to hold these things I'm gluing. You wanted to, I don't know if you guys use these or not. Hang on. Let's see. Do you have a ribbon you're going to tie it together with, Beth? I do. I just put a ribbon underneath the front piece and then the back piece. And then I'm just going to tie it just, just for something extra. Oh, that's so cute. Because he wanted to flop open anyway. So. I don't know why we have an echo. Okay, I'm going to share my screen right here. Is this the one you're talking about, Bernie? And this yep. little ear right here, you wanted to color this inside part? Yep. Okay, so all you have to do then is come over here. Can you all see that? To the yep. line tools. And you can either get this one, which is a draw polygon, which is what I would probably use. And I would just scroll way in like this so I can see. Then I would just start drawing. Start in the inside of this one and just start drawing a line like this. And when I get all the way over to here, I'm done. Although I like to ch click on that line that I just drew and increase the point size of it so it's thicker like the other line is. And that's all you have to do because now, whoops, ah. let me scroll back out. If I go to uh, trace this, it should trace really, really easily. Okay, and I'll I could just say trace. Nice. Oh, you were doing the nodes. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to do the nodes sometimes. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. could have done the nodes too, but sometimes this is a heck of a lot easier. Uh, that's you know. much easier. <laughs> and so then I would just do that part and then object and release the compound path. that gives me all the little squares and now I can prove I can color just his little pink ear if I want to. Yeah, so that's right. how Thank easy you. that is. Yes, you're welcome. Oh, 
Oh, somebody, Janet says, oh, 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 you already highlighted that. T T Tammy, I'm sorry. Janet says, I love them all, but they don't look like beginner cards to me. I really am new. So, well, watch tonight's tutorial and that'll help you some, I hope. Let's see. And Beth this said, one. Cheryl, which large format printer? Oh, Cheryl got a large format printer. I'm loving it. So what did Cheryl say? She likes the idea of making digital paper. She just got the wide format printer. I have a, um, what do I have? The Epson's 7720, I think it is. Yeah, that's what I've got. Yes, okay. Joan says, each card is absolutely adorable. And Beth says, these are so fantastic. And the ladies are amazing. Patty, if I can show you my camera, I have a example of embossing oh sweet how could you i don't know how you would show your camera though hmm are you in our groups anita maybe you could put some photos up there if you are or if not you can send some pictures to team patty ann at gmail.com and tammy and i will both get them and we can look at them and share them with others Okay, let's see. Let's check out and see what Linda's up to. Linda, we're back. We're checking you out. <laughs> okay. Well, I finished the inside of the card. Wow. Oh, it's peace, <laughs> hope, love, 2021. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, well, my the front gosh. of it, you know, it's a, it, it kind of tells the story. It says, beware, it's a jungle out there. And then you, and then I'd be lying if I didn't say I miss you. And then the monkeys say, hang in there. And then oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> that's fabulous. What do you have? What do you have hanging down inside from the crossbars? Um, just some vines. Oh, the vines, vines are hanging down. OK. Yeah. And you made your crossbars out of blue or? I did. Yeah. OK, cool. I like I that, too. It's oh, like the sky. Uh, it, the, and the um, also the two cards um, that were the mats for the lion and the uh, sentiment. Mm -hmm. So very nice. I love it. Now I'm making a window for the front, and I'm going to put the animals peeking through this window. <laughs> okay, wow. y'all. When you watch my video later this evening i'm not going to be this fancy so mine will be more beginner <laughs> look at this she makes hers absolutely gorgeous okay as far as the printers go cheryl says i wanted pigment ink i still have to use my dye inkjet printer if i'm going to use copic color um suppose the h tammy isn't our hp aren't our hps aren't those pigment ink i know that my epson is pigment ink <clears throat> The black is pigment ink. Okay. With the inkjet, with HP inkjet printer. Right. So if you get an HP and you're just doing it in black because you're doing digi stamps that you're going to color with your Copic markers, those will work perfectly as well as the um, Epson that I have over there. It's also pigment ink. Dora said, wow, sure beautiful. Animals, I made sure that the animals each had a mask on did you notice oh that? my gosh <laughs> oh, wow. oh that goes perfect with your little story that you're telling with that card yeah. too <laughs> can you hold that up when you get well we'll leave you for a little bit and you'll hold it up later to show us our little masks and stuff oh i will okay okay <laughs> all right bernie you got anything going on over there or yep so i've got the start of my cards nearly nearly finished so this oh. was paper off Creative Fabric called, I think it was actually called Jungle. Which oh. Is, you have some other jungle animals, but I only wanted the colour. Uh -huh. So the card oh, looks like this. Oh, oh. oh. that's <laughs> cute. I love and it. it up. Oh, oh that's it really color. pretty. It fits inside or outside like that, whichever. Yes. And then I've got to give it back. And then I've got to do something for the front as well. But you oh, can just wow. use, if this is a really simple card, it, like the all of these bits, yeah, like I created, but you could just use plain scrapbook paper on it. Right. Like it doesn't have to be printed paper. It doesn't have to be 
It's a really simple card. Yeah, that's perfect. I love it. Yeah. Very nice. I can't wait to see what you're going to do on the front and the back, too. <laughs> okay, let's see. And let's go to Beth. Looks like you have finished, perhaps. I have. I have. All right, let's check it out. Here's my uh, beware. It's a jungle out there, like Linda said. Oh, and yes. Open him up. Oh, my gosh. In the jungle. Oh. <laughs> That's really cute. I love it. Wouldn't some little kid from the our card people love that? Mm-hmm. They and would then just, I just go nuts. Added a piece on the back, I'll say. Yeah. And then what? The little ties? You're gonna just tie it shut? Just how just cute to is tie that? It to see, it doesn't want to lay real good and flat otherwise, so I just right. tie that to keep it down. So Joni's asking, what is the font? Do you mean? On Beth's, what is the font? If you're wondering, that's what came with the kit, yes. right? With the yes. stamp set. All yeah. of these are just the, that came with the digi stamp set. Right. Let's see. Beth says, this Beth says, I love that card, Fold Bernie. Okay. It's the one I chose for my co worker's birthday this year. Cool. Right, right. Nice. Okay. I cut a um a shape just out of okay. silhouette or just um, a shape. It's got one layer of the card paper that I printed, and mm -hmm. it's on another layer of cardstock just to give it some thickness. Right. And then I glued it all together, and then I'm just bending the edges up of like where the petal is, I'm just bending those edges in a little bit. Just so with your fingers? Yep, yeah, just with my fingers. I'm just bending it like that because it's got the stability of the cardstock behind it. And oh, then it, gives it, it makes it a little bit textured, I suppose. Right. Hey, Tammy. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, I was just going to say that um, if you want to go ahead and get it, or I can, Anita said she posted a picture to our Patty Ant's place. Is it the Silhouette group, Anita, or which Facebook group is it? The Cricket one? I was going to say maybe we could share that picture if we can open it. Okay, I'll see. See if you can find it. <clears throat> going to spotlight Stephanie. Yeah. We're spying on you, Steph. <laughs> are you spying on me? I'm, I'm, yes, we I'm are. Making, I'm making a grassy bed. <laughs> You're doing the grass? It's just been watching, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So there's somewhere for the little animals to sit. Oh, cute. <laughs> so you're layering it so they can be down inside there a little bit. Yeah, cute. they're going to be the little, feet will fit in, the little feet will fit inside in a minute. <laughs> I gotta ask you guys this: How long does it take you to find those images you use in the back? My goodness, they're just perfect. Look at that. Ooh, are those snakes on that branch? No, they. Um, it's it's just sort of like twine. But it, I am lucky because I've got a CD that's all about um, animals and things like that. It's something I've had for years, um, and it's all backgrounds and things like that. For, oh wow! Using for cards. Yes. So I, wonder, I wonder if you could uh, even on F Creative Fabrica or on uh, Pixabay just type in jungle and maybe that makes it a lot easier. I just didn't think of that till just now. Jungle backgrounds, I would have thought. Oh, yeah. jungle backgrounds, even better. Yeah. yeah. That's what I did, Stephanie. Did you look for jungle backgrounds? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Anita says you're all very creative. Isn't that the truth? Don't, well, yeah. So <laughs> They're beautiful. I, I, I put some uh, dimensionals on the back of this little window so that it will just give it some, a pop. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, the, oh did gosh. you want to put me back on Patty Ann? Sure, I'd be glad to. Hang on just one sec. Let me wait till I get there. That's yeah. it. And let me get you. 
Okay. Okay. Okie doke. So this is the back of my card. Mm -hmm. So I've got the paper that I printed, some digital paper. And right. this, is the, this is the background that I made. Oh, so cute. It's on the back. And I've also put Velcro dots on the back oh. that it'll attach to the card sleeve so the, because it's actually going to be... It's a boy. It's a, for a baby oh, car. Let's go on the front. So if the parents want to take this off, and then I've got a little stand here that they can. I'm oh my gosh! How to make, oh, and then cute. they can put that on there like that. Oh, that's adorable. Off the card. Yes. So I have a question about that back piece there. So you just took the digi stamps and you colored them within silhouette. Yep. Uh, those are all uh, print then cut, right? And then you just yep. resized them and put them all over that square that you had there. Wow, yep, that's and neat. And that's the vine at the top. I think that was called the jungle bushes. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just resized the giraffes. Had one giraffe and then the smaller <laughs> one, the zebra and the lion. Right. And the monkeys. That's so cute. And for those of you out there that don't even have a cutting machine, you could do all of that, which Bernie has just done. You don't even need a cutting machine. Just use no. the Silhouette software, print it out from there with your printer, and then just use scissors or a rotary yep. cutter, whatever, to cut those rect squares out. Correct. So if you haven't been able to get a machine yet, you can still create so much stuff and not have to, you know, have all those stamps and buy all those things saves you a lot of money so there's the back of it now oh the... that's so cute that's beautiful and that's what a sweet idea to make it a baby one <laughs> cute now so my it's a boy bernie i like your cricket picture on the wall <laughs> oh thank you I had a, um, we had a craft fun in australia because i'm part of a cricket group and I just made the cutie. We had it was a summer theme, so I just created that. It's a larger than that cutie and um, cut her out. Oh, cute! It's so sweet. Very creative. Yeah. Yeah. Tammy said Anita that she didn't see it in the groups. Which group did you happen to uh, put it in? Do you remember? How many of you are going to run over to Dina's Digi Doodle Studios and get these adorable animals? I just love them. I think they're so cute. I remember this week, too. I also, let's see if I can do this. This, remember this week, too, I also show this this is the same monkey i just took part of the monkey off of those hanging monkeys and showed how to cut him out of cardstock make him an svg you know the cutable pieces and i just cut him out of cardstock he... anyway he makes me smile actually because he's so smiley i have him usually right here on my microphone or something so i can see him <laughs> All right, Stephanie, you're wiggling around down there. I'm going to look and see what, what, what you got going on. Patty Ann's Place Story. Hmm. So really, from a basic card, which that is, that's just been cut, you can decorate it how, how you sort of want it. It makes it look a lot more than just a, a card that's been... Jeez folded twice over it sure does so y'all remember what she did in the very beginning she took that one sheet folded it in half and then folded that left hand side into the fold i think right is that right yeah, folded, it, folded it back yeah, yeah. and, and then, then you just the cut it the bottom off willy-nilly any size you wanted or was there a specific yeah. size it started off i am obviously it started off a piece of card folded in half whoops sorry where am i here piece of card folded in half folded back on itself and i cut 
some off it and then all it is is then it's turning it the opposite way around so literally as a card folded back on itself and that folded across across the bottom so that you can decorate it so that's what you end up with so it, it, it's just a, a piece of card folded back on itself but it, Mm, so cute. But really, it really is a card, so it's just one more fold folding it back on itself. And it's, I did a card for um, a birthday, and, and I did the bottom half, and I did it black like a road and put a car on it, and did maps at the back for the background. So there's lots of things you can do oh. with it. Yeah. Okay. So did, now those leaves, the leaves at the top and the tree, those came from the little... Uh, set to the Digi's Doodle set. And yeah. like, hey, I've told you guys before, I'm not affiliated with Dina over there at Digi Doodle Studios. I don't get any money from any of this jazz. I, we just really like her stamps, don't we? And yeah. so yeah. that's why I keep yeah. talking about them. But the leaves you colored with your computer, is that correct? No, no, I've done everything by hand. Oh, you've done it all by hand? Gorgeous. Yeah, oh, been, oh, that takes a lot longer. <laughs> nice. <laughs> To what? Oh, I, I'm having trouble understanding. Could you all understand what Stephanie said? Maybe somebody could tell me. You couldn't either? No, sorry. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. That's what you used. Okay, cool. The oh hoo hoo or whatever they're called. Yeah. Uh oh, Bernie ran off to get something. She's back. <laughs> well, I was to, maybe that's how it works. So there's my card. Oh, let me get you soloed in here. Hang on. There we go. Oh, cute. Oh, that's beautiful. And then you open it up. It's got sticky. It's got a Velcro dot oh. on it. And then it can stand up like that. Oh. What? Hang on. Beautiful. You put those, if you don't want to see the words, you can have. The card then Aww. folds again like that. How cute is that? That is and so cute. And then you turn it around and there's the, this bit, as I said, comes off because it's got Velcro dots. If you want to take that off. So I might wow. put even some, I might put some paper on that so the card's not left, but then that becomes an independent stand by itself. Wow. That what a beautiful. clever idea. Neat. Love it. And then back under. And there's so do you really have a use for that card or were you just making it for oh, fun? Yeah. No, I just made it for fun, but it just reminded me of a, when I saw it, I saw baby card. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, yes. Adorable. Okay. So, uh, Tammy, did you see that where she just well, joined the group? I saw, I saw my yeah. I'll get Okay. Wait, wait, I couldn't hear you, Linda. Hang on just a sec. Let's see. Move this. Relax. What'd you say, Linda? I saw, when I saw the set, I thought, this is a COVID story. Oh, yes. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. funny? Bernie saw, thought this is a baby story. You thought yeah. it was a COVID story. <laughs> and I think, Beth, you thought it was kind of COVID-ish too, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's a jungle out there. Y'all have a watch monkey got Mm -hmm. My niece's little boy is two next week. So, so do you want me to show you how to make one of these? Hang on one second, Bernie. What did you say, Steph? My my niece's little boy is two next week, so it's going to be his birthday card. Oh, cute. He'll love it. Yeah. Okay, sure, Bernie. I'm going to spotlight you, and you can tell show us how you made that. Hang on. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll have to show you, like, talk you through it. Okay. Because and this I is the stand that goes behind the the eight by yeah. eight probably square so it's just i've got a 12 inch piece of cardstock that i'm going to cut to 10 11 by five okay so i'll do that and then I'll, so I'll do that and come back okay all right linda while she's cutting that you want to walk us through your card or is it sure. not quite done? Maybe it's not. Yeah, it is. It's, there it's, it is. It's, it's, yeah. So, here it is. Can you see? see? Yes. yes. Move it to your right. You're right a little bit. You're right. right. Correct. There you go. Perfect. 
Okay, good. Okay, so there's the um, the front of the card, and beware, it's a jungle out there. All the animals have their masks on. Oh, <laughs> that is funny. Now, how did you do that? Well, I just I just took a rectangle, and I, then I took some uh, a sm very small rectangle, and I just attached and welded and made them very small. And then I even brought some... Uh, <laughs> designer uh, paper in for the uh, polka dot mask. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. So cute. And then you open it up. Oh. Let me see. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, we see it perfectly. Okay. So Beautiful. I, I put a mask on the lion and I just really, I like the little bling that um, is over here. I don't know if you can see the bling on the I cannot. Hanging. Is that the uh, the little things that you put the embossing powder on the leaves uh, well, mean the... I, put, I just put a little rhinestone oh right i here. see it now yeah oh do those monkeys have on masks too that's they hilarious oh. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh, and, and, so... and, they, and they each have a heart in the center of their masks <laughs> a heart yes a heart oh uh -huh. isn't that sweet cute Oh my goodness! Uh, you know what I forgot to do? You're supposed to. Um, I have to take um, the cure of this whole thing. I've got to put glue on both of these sides. I forgot oh, to do that. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then it will just close right up, fold right up, and fit in an envelope, huh? Perfectly. Yeah, it's a it's a four and a four and a five and a half by a four and a quarter. Right. That's do you think you'd have to use an extra stamp to mail something like that? Um, it doesn't, I think if it's over 28 grams, I don't know, I'll have to weigh this. I have a Weight Watcher scale, and I usually oh. go like that. <laughs> you knew it would come in handy for something, right? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Anyway. oh, cool. So if, if you guys want to see how to make that call, whoa, not that, what is that? Wait a minute, that's wrong. Hold on one second. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you was this. If you guys want to see how to make this card, but not nearly as fancy and pretty, just the bare bones, tune in tonight at 7 o'clock, and I show you how to do the uh, the folding of it. And you can cut it and everything in your with your cameo or your uh, portrait, which is what I use, or even Cricut Design or your Cricut Machine. But mine's not gonna, my example is not going to be as beautiful as this. <laughs> oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tune in. <laughs> oh, okay, you tune in. I wish I, could, I wish I didn't already have the video prepared because I would have put your picture in there instead of just having mine in there, that's for sure. Oh, well. <laughs> so I hope you're going to post that. I only put two crossbars in rather than oh, okay. three. Because yeah. I believe it's going to put a few vines in the forest. You know, when you girls post your pictures, I think if you could do this, I don't know if you can or not very easily, it'd be really nice if you could just post videos so that we could see it closed and then when you open it, because they're all just so beautiful and different, and you could explain that a little something happen. about it before you post it. Yeah. That'd that be cool. Remember when you, passed, when you did that spinner card? Yes. 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 Right. Yes. yes, exactly, Beth. Yes. Uh-huh. The only way we can share a picture outside of StreamYard would be to share our screen. Oh, I know. Right. Just share your screen and then you got to share your application window or share Chrome yeah. tab. Yeah. So if you show, share the Chrome tab and just have that part big. If you don't want to do it, let me know because I can Hold probably. Hold on. I got it. There it okay. is. You see it? Oh, yes. So, okay, so explain what, well, she can't because she's not here to talk. So she said that was with embossing, right? Yeah. Oh, let's see if she's, sounds great, Patty Ann. Oh, you need more postage. Anita says if it's over a quarter of an inch high or more. So Anita, so what's embossed on here? Or maybe, hey, y'all, y'all can go and look at this, too, and maybe she'll give us details on Cutting Up with Patty Ann's Place, the Facebook group. Hopefully, y'all are in there. And you can look there and see the pictures that she's posted, and she'll be able to give us some more details there, hopefully. So that's good. Perfect. All right. 
Okay, are you ready, Bernie, to show us some more? Yep. So okay, that was so an 11, 11 by 5 inch piece of card. Yes. I scored it down the middle at five and a half. And I didn't okay. use one. I've just used a scoreboard and a, I'm going to use scissors. So you don't need a machine for this. And then there's a, a mark at half an inch in. And then there's another mark at two and a quarter inch up from that edge and one and a half across. And then I'm just getting my scissors again. And it's just going to be, I'll do it very quickly. While she's cutting that, Anita says, well, I'll put it here so y'all can read it. She said, the swirls are chipboard with pearl embossing. The large heart is champagne embossed with three to four coats. Wow. The small heart has fragments added while still melty hot. Cool. All righty. There we go. Okay. The, that was the half inch. One and a half up and two and a quarter, two and a half up, one and a quarter, two and a half, and now it's just made the easel. Oh, that's cool. So you can make it out of chipboard too if you wanted to or yeah. fancy. Yep, yep. And then that just makes the cut, the back of the card stand up. I'll take it off and I'll put my back in. That is really such a cute idea. For new parents, they would love that. And just goes like. I love the stand of bringing to give an elf hat. <laughs> Hang on, be hard backwards. We couldn't quite hear you, Linda. Oh, I was just saying that her, her cute little stand reminds me of an elf hat. <laughs> an elf's hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Oh, that is adorable. So oh, cute. Really it. Yeah. Beautiful. So it's just a piece of, yeah, yeah. there we go. That's such a neat idea. I see mm -hmm. the elf's hat now, Linda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's see. Stephanie, oh, you're still putting some little doodads on yours. No, I think it's, I think it's all my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's so cute. And all you guys saw what the beginning of that card was. Amazing. Oh my gosh. So you haven't put any text on yours yet, right? Any sentiments no, you're gonna put? Deliberately I, not because it's going to be for a certain birthday. Right. Um, so where will you where will you think you'll put that then? On this side here. In oops, inside there. Oh, um, okay. Cute. Just just on the side and then all the writing will be on the back. Okay. And look what she did with the little um, zebra's legs are down inside the grass because she made it like three dimensional. See, so sort of running through that grass. So cute. I love it. Wow. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I think I'll delete my video. <laughs> yeah. Nah, just kidding because it'll show you how to make the bare bones of the other one. is extremely cute. Yeah. I like it. I uh, like all of these too. They're awesome. My card did you say my card was? Yes, your card is cute. Oh, I don't heavens. know. It is. Tammy. <laughs> Tammy's so well, nice. <laughs> they can judge for themselves when they watch the video. Okay, there you go. So Anita's saying wow and Bess is awesome. They really are awesome, aren't they? Oh my gosh. So three cheers, hip hip hooray for our brand new digi chick, <laughs> Bernie. Welcome. Thank you. We'll get yeah, love what you brought to the group, and uh, it'll be fun, fun to be able to. All the cards turned out amazing. It'll be great to have you be able to uh, figure out what in the world with your phone because you yeah, know this we'll technology can just time. drive us yeah. crazy. So what time we'll do you have to leave for work, Bernie? In about ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> or are like you late? That. Something like um, that. Oh. About 10 minutes. I've got to go and get ready. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And, Stephanie, you've got to get ready for bed. Yeah. And the rest of us have to get ready to eat dinner soon. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We're from so far away from each other. It's cool. 
So, all right. Does anybody have any questions about any of the cards, or anybody want to show any last stuff? Any of you chickies? Joni says, "Great." You did right, Joni. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess that's it for today, then. Be sure and share this with other people, and uh, hope to see y'all again around 7 o'clock. Bernie, I'm sure you'll be working, and I'll Stephanie, you'll be like snoozing that. away. Like <laughs> but, uh, you can, yeah, watch the I'll playback. So. All right. Cool. Okay, I guess we'll see you all again soon. I'm going to end this now. Bye, everybody. Oh, wait, did y'all want to come back on with your cameras like we usually do and say bye it's up to you there they come bye everybody bye. 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 oh there we go we got everybody now okay bye y'all see you again soon thank you